Hi, welcome to Kian.smr Home. In this video, I decided to teach you how to install and run MikroTik Rotor OS on a virtual machine. As sometimes it's not worth buying devices for what we want to do. In this video, I use VMware Workstation as virtualization software. Installing it is very easy and needs just a few clicks. The only thing that must be taken into consideration is that your device must support virtualization and it must be enabled. If you use Windows, you can check and enable it in BIOS or UE5. Before continuing the video, subscribe and press the bell button to receive every new video. First of all, navigate to Microtik web page, click software. In this page, find x86 section and download CD image file. This is Microtik Rotor OS ISO 5. After downloading the latest Microtik Rotor OS ISO file, run VMware Workstation, select File, click New Virtual Machine. Choose Custom, Next. I select the latest Workstation, Next. Select Installer Disk Image File, click Browse. Navigate to where you downloaded the Microtik ISO file. Select it, open. Next. Choose Linux as operating system and talking about version, choose other Linux 5.x kernel 64 bit. Next. Set a name for your virtual machine. Next. Specify the number of processors for this virtual machine. It depends on your operating system and what you want to do. Number of processors and number of cores per processors. Next. How much memory would you like to use for this virtual machine? I choose one gigabyte. Next. In this section, network connection, select use bridge networking. Next. In this section, choose LSI logic, which is recommended. Next. Virtual disk type must be IDE. Next. Select create a new virtual disk. Then click next. How large do you want this disk to be? To my point of view, 6 GB is enough. And then select a store, a virtual disk as a single file. Next, next, finish. Virtual Microtik is created by selecting it. It window opens and you see its settings. You can easily change its settings by double clicking on each of the items. For example, memory, I double click on memory. You can change. Okay. Let's Let's start the virtual machine, virtual Microtik. Click inside, enter I, enter Y, meaning continue. Press enter to reboot. Virtual Microtik is ready to be used. Press Ctrl plus Alt to return to computer. Run Winbox. Pay attention that with the settings, your operating system must be connected to your network via LAN. This is the Virtual Microtik selected. By default, username is admin. There is no password set, so password tab must be blank. Connect. Your router does not have any valid key. You can get valid key from microtik.com and enter it at system license window. If you already have paid for this license, you can press update key in license window. Router will stop functioning after one day. 
your virtual microtik is ready to be used. There is another way to install virtual microtik on virtual machine. I stop this one. You can also use OVA microtik router OS files to install microtik on virtual machines. I have one as you see it's OVA in order to install it easily drag and drop it in virtual machine set a name for it click import this is the second virtual micro key you can see its settings here and you can easily change the settings by clicking on each of the items you want to change for example by default memory is set to 256 megabyte i click on memory and increase it to one gigabyte talking about hard disk make sure its type must be ide network adapter network connection must be bridge okay the second virtual microtik is ready to be used i run it run winbox your operating system must be connected to your network via lan this is the second virtual microtik. Username is admin. It has default password, which is admin. Connect. Navigate to IP. Select addresses. Click plus. Assign an IP address to your microtik based on your IP range. The IP range of your network. Then navigate to IP, routes, tab plus. In general tab, gateway section, enter the IP of your gateway. Okay. Then navigate to IP, firewall, select NAT tab, click plus. Open general tab chain must be src nat open action tab masquerade must be selected as action okay navigate to ip open dns section enter 8.8.8.8 .8 in servers okay your microtik has access to internet i navigate to system Select packages, click check for updates. New version is available as you see. In installed version is 7.3.1, the latest version is 7.7. .7. Click download and install. System is up to date. Navigate to tools, ping. As you see, Microtik has access to Intel. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done already, as it motivates me to upload more videos. Also, if you have any questions about VMware file or Microtik file, leave comments. I'll see you in the next video.